The National Development Plan correctly recognizes that for our country to achieve the 2030 goals, we must place science, technology, and innovation at the center of our developmental agenda. Recently, the World Bank reiterated this view when it advised the South that South Africa needs to place more emphasis on science and innovation in order to achieve a sustainable growth trajectory. Although its primary responsibility is to promote science, the Department of Science and Technology cannot on its own achieve this important task. The involvement of all stakeholders, business, labor, academia, government, is a vital necessity for South Africa to place science at the center of its development. The new white paper is aimed at helping South Africa to benefit from global developments, such as rapid technological advancements and geopolitical and demographic shifts, as well as to respond to the threats associated with some of these global trends. The two leading countries in artificial intelligence, the People's Republic of China and United States of America, have developed AI strategies amongst many others that have done the same. Of all the technologies associated with the fourth industrial revolution, artificial intelligence is poised to have the most disruptive impact on the place of humans in the economic production. How do we approach this important technology such that we are able to maximize its benefit for our people? What should we learn from countries that have developed strategies around this technology? Ladies and gentlemen, some research shows that whereas the fourth industrial revolution will consist in technological advancement that will lead to increased productivity, it will also come with greatly reduced human labor absorption in the world environment, in the work environment. These new technologies will provide capabilities in manufacturing for emerging economies like our own, which will spawn new industries. So we'll see the birth of new industries. This means that the introduction of machines for the time being may not be the, to eliminate jobs, but to redefine them, changing the tasks and the skills needed to perform them. We owe it to all the people of the country, continent, and the world that they see in us not merely as good leaders waxing lyrical about development, but as front commanders in the blast furnaces of labor, productive investments, and visible change.